feel like I'm gonna succeed, I'm gonna prosper, I'm gonna excel in almost everything I do. I've been taught to appreciate other people and other cultures. I see a lot of inspiration around me and I see role models everywhere. I really want to go back and then help my country. I'm really, really um, privileged and humble to be in an academy like this. The Aga Khan Academy in Mombasa is the first in a network of schools that's dramatically improving education in the developing world. With academies in Kenya, India and Mozambique, the network will eventually expand across 14 countries. Here, it doesn't matter where you're from or how much money you have. Most people think about economic or social elitism as being associated with the school, but we believe we are far from that. We go out of our way to, to seek um, financial aid students, those who otherwise could not afford, but who demonstrate that intellectual capability and that leadership capability that they will ultimately benefit from a school like this one. The Aga Khan Academies have a mandate to provide access to promising students. This academy in Mombasa actively recruits gifted and talented students living in underrepresented, marginalised communities and offers them the opportunity to receive an outstanding education at one of the best schools in Kenya. This is the first school in Kenya to be authorised to offer all three international baccalaureate programmes. Lovely comes from Kilifi County in Kenya. She used to study at a local school with limited facilities. Now she's a student at the academy, she's doing things she could never have done at her own school. The moment I crossed that gate, I felt like my life is beginning in a new way. Because um, first I've been in a different environment with different people, different people as in, in terms of how they talk, where they come from, their different cultures. And I also knew that I was going to change in terms of how I think, how I learn, how I speak, how I interact with different people. There's all sorts of people from different socio-economic, cultural, religious backgrounds interacting with, with one another, engaging with one another. And I think that really helps them when they go out in the outside world and become leaders of the future. If we, she's talking to me, I see her that she's very confident. <laughs> she has changed. We miss her, but we, we appreciate. Yeah, because we know she's doing something there. Yeah, about our future, about her future, about her brother's future, sister's future. Yeah, even the community as a whole. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to ask you to look at the pictures once again, Jeff. So that they... The Academy casts a wide net for promising students working in conjunction with the Aga Khan Foundation. The selection process seeks to find children who won't just complete the school's demanding international baccalaureate curriculum, it seeks students with strong leadership potential, students who'll strive to improve the societies in which they live. That test, in a way, gives us some idea of how students are thinking, what they would do in a certain situation in terms of benefiting the community, what problems they can foresee in terms of developing a solution to the particular problem, and how they would overcome those difficulties. Good. This lycée is in Khorog, Tajikistan, a remote part of one of the poorest countries in the world. Educational facilities are limited by the school's geographical isolation. Every year, several students at the lycée receive assistance to go and study at the Aga Khan Academy in Mombasa. A similar program is underway at the Aga Khan Academy in Hyderabad, where students from Afghanistan are being given this same opportunity. This family has a daughter in Mombasa. Ah, 
on, start your color with your tamami. I used to stereotype a lot back at home because of the closed environment I was in. I didn't get to know a lot about out the outside world, but when I came here, I became a critical thinker. Every time I wouldn't accept information just the way it is, I'd like analyze it and think about and make my own conclusions about it. The Mombasa Academy encourages students to maintain their local culture so they don't feel cut off when they return home. Events like this also enrich the lives of other students and show them something of Tajik culture. Amin is from Khorog too. He takes regular Russian language lessons, something he'll need when he returns to Central Asia. Here in Mombasa, he's learning new skills on the sports ground, as well as the classroom. And in his dorm room, he's mixing with people he would never have met in Tajikistan. So, if you want to say what's up, man, you say, <laughs> Vide Baye. My roommates are really friendly, because every time when you ask them for help, they help you. If they need something, you help them if you can. And also, like, they're from different places, and the, the way their culture is, it's really different. But then we still like do the same things and we respect each other. Mary was one of the first selected to join the Aga Khan Academy. Six years later, she's just got accepted to the University of Toronto on a full scholarship. Many more young people like her could benefit from the same opportunity. I see myself as a leader in very many ways. When I come back after my education, I want to um, be able to improve the infrastructure in my, con in, my, in my community for starters, because I believe the rural areas in Kenya have really been uh, segregated from the economic development that is happening to the cities. The very act of me getting accepted to an a university abroad means that the girls in my community can look at themselves and say if Mary could do it then I can too so that I, I, I that's why this really changes my life and my community's life as a whole pluralist confident and accomplished in academic and non-academic activities these are the students the Academy is creating they're the leaders of tomorrow if we believe that we are all equal, then definitely we won't have any fights. And if we're taught to appreciate other cultures or the leaders or the law, then we'll have a peaceful world and a peaceful Kenya.